Content safety is essential in building the AI powered application. So in this video, we'll create a prompt flow using GPT-40 LLM in Azure AI Studio. And then we'll add a content safety filter using Azure AI Cognitive Service to ensure that the user questions are appropriate before they can be answered. This way, we maintain a safe and responsible user experience. So let's check the step-by-step -step deployment of this in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now. And let's go to Azure AI Studio, which is Azure AI Foundry now. Create a new hub. Let's name the resource group as RG Hub. And I'll choose the region as Australia East. Shell in the test hub 01. It will connect to the AI services by itself. It'll create a storage account and save the credentials into the key vault. Let's go by default. I'll provide the public access by default. Everything by default and review and create and create. So the deployment has started now and I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. Deployment is complete now. Let's go to the resource. We are in Azure AI Hub and launch Azure AI Studio. Now to start working in Azure AI Foundry, you need to create a project. So let's create a project. I'll choose the default name, but you can use any. Now a project is created, which provides an open AI endpoint and the key. So the plan here is to create a chatbot using GPT-40 LLM, but we'll use the prompt flow because we want to add a content safety layer so that if the users are asking any question, that question should be appropriate based on the content safety. First start with the deployment of the model, GPT model. Click on deploy model, base model. Look for GPT-40 or GPT-40 mini. I think 40 mini should be sufficient here. And based on the availability, it's picking up the resource location. You can customize it from here, but I'm okay with it. And create resource and deploy. GPT-40 mini model is deployed now. You can open in the playground and try the chat option, but we are okay with it. So we'll just directly go to prompt flow and create a new standard flow. You can name it anything. So I'll just leave it as default and create. Standard flow is created now. If we look on the right side, there is an option of LLM, and Python, let's remove these for now. And we'll create our own flow. So inputs will be question. We'll ask some question here. And we'll decide where the output should come from. But to add more tools, we need to start the session. Let's start the compute session. It'll take around three to five minutes. Though it shows it takes only one to three minutes. So I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's started. Compute session has started now and let's add the LLM. We have already deployed the LLM. So let's just add LLM. So let's name it as shell in the LLM 01. Add. And provide the connection. So we have created the East US2. And this will be for the chat. And the deployment name is GPT-40 mini. And we want the response to be in text. So that's all good. You are a helpful assistant and it'll ask the question. So I'm not providing any system message or restricting the limit of uh, the LLM. So let's validate and parse input. Now we have to provide where it should get the question from and the question should be inputs.question. So the question is coming from here and Let's provide the output as output and the output will be LLM output. So if you look down here, it should be something like this. We are asking the question, LLM is providing the output and then we'll getting that output in the output section itself. So let's ask the question, where is Australia located? Let's run it. 
our flow is running and the LLM will provide an output which will be provided by the output section. Perfect, it ran successfully. Let's view the output. Australia is located in the Southern Hemisphere, bordered by Indian Ocean and all those details. That's perfect. By default, the GPT models, they have the content safety filter enabled. But there is always a chance that if you ask inappropriate question, that can still provide you answers that can result in hate, violence, self-harm or being sexual. And so the best option here is to avoid those questions. But let's give it a shot. In case of emergency, can I jump out of my car? Let's run this. The flow is running and it should provide the output soon. And it's completed now. Let's view the output. In an emergency situation, jumping out of the car can be dangerous and it's important to consider the circumstances. But if you'll keep asking the questions regarding the same situation, then there could be a scenario where it will provide you the output that yes, you can jump. But under the content safety regulation, that is under the self harm. So let's add this filter so that no one can ask inappropriate questions. So now let's go to more tools. And there is an option of content safety text analyze. Click here. Let's add Shalinda safety 01. Add. And now we need a connection here. But we haven't deployed any service. So let's save this and go to Azure portal. Look for content. And there is an option of content safety. It's under Azure AI service. Let's create this service. We'll use the same resource group RG Hub. Let's deploy in Australia East. Let's name it as Test Safety 01. And, and let's use the standard pricing tier. I'm providing the public access for now because this is just a lab and in identity it's using the self assigned managed identity but I'm not adding any user assigned managed identity here. No tags, review and create and create. So the deployment has started. I'll pause the video and we'll be back once this content safety cognitive service is deployed. Deployment is complete now. Let's go to resource. So here is some documentation where you can make an API call, use it in your code. Let's use this content safety in our prompt flow. And if we'll go to our content safety analyze, it's not showing the connection here. And the reason is because we haven't created the connection with the Azure AI content safety. So let's go to the management center and go to connected resources create a new connection and there is an option of Azure AI content safety, which is responsible AI. Let's click here and here you can see the resource which we have deployed, add a connection and perfect connection is added now. Let's close this and you can see the safety content safety connection is created. Let's go back to our project, go to the prompt flow. And now in the connection, if we'll drop down, there is an option of content safety. Now for hate category, let's make it high sensitive. Let's make high for everything. And we are getting the text from the question itself. Whatever we are asking, that should go into this content safety. And let's remove the LLM for now. And in the output, we'll add the content safety output. Let's ask one question. Can I jump from the roof of my house? Let's run this. Run has completed. Let's click on the output and it's rejected as you can see. And the reason is 
it's rejected on the basis of self harm so if someone will ask question like this it should be rejected now what we want is we want to create a trigger so that if there is a suggested action as reject then it should not go to our llm to answer the question this question should be ignored so let's add the python option here so this is like a trigger 01 and what we are getting is a dictionary so let's change from dictionary to boolean whether it should run or not let's create a variable name action which should get its value from input 1 and suggested actions so now let's create a if else statement if if action is equal to accept then it should return true else else it should return false and that's it we want so let's validate and pass and the input is coming from the output of safety search let's save this now let's add our llm so llm 01 add we already have a connection yes us2 chat and the deployment name is gpt40 mini and we want the output in the text now what extra we are doing here is that in the case of activate config we should provide an option that if the output of the trigger is equal to true then they should run otherwise not so let's try this validate and pass input and it's asking the question directly whatever the question is it will answer and finally the output will be output of our llm so let's first ask a normal question where is australia located save it and run as you can see the flow is running now and it should provide the output soon perfect it's successful and it's providing the output about the location of australia that's good now let's check so based on the safe and the safety search it has suggested accept for everything so all the categories are accepted and for trigger because it was accepted so it was true and because it was true it triggered the llm and then the llm provided the output which you can see here and finally this output is provided into the output section so now let's ask the question which is inappropriate can i jump from the roof of my house let's run again it's complete let's check the output and we don't get anything and if we'll check in the safety search it's rejected because it's a self harm on one category it's rejected in the trigger it's false because it's not accepted and because we have set up a activate trigger so this is completely ignored and as you can see here it's bypassed and that's the reason we didn't get any output and using this and now we can deploy this into the virtual machine and use this endpoint in our web application or the chat application and then it will make sure that the users don't ask inappropriate questions and then we have a double layer of security first one is we are not even entertaining the inappropriate questions and the second one is the safety layer which is inbuilt into the llm So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.